Fiber Auto Supply Company Inkaloom is a cinch to set up and weave on. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab one of your feet, one of the two included screws, and your four millimeter hex wrench. Now you can have these feet facing either direction, whatever's comfortable for you. Just remember that you're going to want to have the pegs facing the same direction. So just tighten this foot down. You don't need to cinch it down, just so that it's snug and being held onto the bottom of the ankle loom. Do the same thing with the other one. The next step is to install the pegs. You will notice that one of the pegs is shorter and fatter than the rest. That's your tensioning peg. We're gonna put that one in last. These pegs have a screw that runs all the way through them, so they're really strong. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put the cap nut in through the hole in the back and then hand tighten the screws. The next step is to grab that four millimeter hex wrench again and go around while holding the peg. Just tighten those cap nuts so that they're seated nice and snug. You don't have to hulk these babies, just get them so that they are in place and the pegs don't spin freely. Now you're gonna to wanna to grab that tensioning peg, put it through the slot, put the washer on the back side and tighten the knob securely. Now notice where Emma put the tensioning peg. She didn't put it all the way towards the front, but she did put it closer to the front than the back. And that's a good spot to leave it when you're not weaving. Now we are going to be making some heddles. People generally make heddles with the yarn that they are weaving with, although you don't have to. You can reuse heddles if they're still in good condition. The only thing you wanna watch out for is that the yarn is for your heddles is not thicker than the yarn you're weaving with. If that heddle yarn is too thick, it'll spread your warp out and nobody wants a spread out warp. So anyway, what Emma did was she wrapped the yarn around the three bars. One of them on the bottom front is called the heddle bar. You've got the top bar and then just a warp bar behind that. Tie a knot, trim the ends, slide the heddle off, and make as many as you need. The amount of heddles that you need for your project is going to depend entirely on the direction you decide to go. If you're just gonna freestyle it and come up with your own pattern, that's perfectly acceptable. Just decide how many times you wanna wrap or warp your loom, like how many um, passes you plan on making. Divide that number by two and add one. You wanna start with a heddle and end with a heddle. If you're looking at a pattern, you'll see a U next to the rows that are heddles. So you wanna count those up or if they tell you, then just make that many heddles and you'll be ready to go. So Emma started by taping her first thread to the table. Now you can do this however you want. There's um, a couple different resources out there that suggest using a pin. So actually putting a push pin into the loom. I'm not too keen on that one. Um, you can tape your, your, uh, your first thread to the loom. That's fine. She taped it directly to the table and she's going to bring her yarn around and tie her first color back to itself. So when she changes colors, every time she changes colors, she's gonna tie the new color onto the color she's changing from. Those always goes up above the top heddle bar and the yarn that doesn't go through the heddles goes directly to the back bar. Now both threads end up at the back bar, but they take different routes. It's, it's common for beginners on ankle looms to struggle a little bit with this concept, but you just wanna remember that when you go through a heddle, you go up and over your top heddle bar, and you start and you finish with a heddle. Emma is working from a pattern here, so the colors that you use or the changes that you make may be a little bit different. But again, the Ink Loom is such a great tool for beginners because it's really just do whatever you want. We have so much fun just making random stuff or going with patterns. I mean, it really doesn't matter.
see what Emma's doing with her threads. She's actually taping it to the table. You can tape it to that front bar. Um, however you can secure it is fine. I'm sure there's somebody out there that has a way better way. Go ahead and leave it in the comments and help the next person out because I do it differently than Emma does. And I don't know if there's a right or wrong way to this, but just however works for you is fine. So here Emma is wrapping her shuttle with her weft yarn. Now remember an inkle band is a warp face band and what that means is that you really can't see the weft yarn except for on the ends. So generally what people do is they'll choose a color, the color of the outside of their band. It blends in a little bit better. But again, don't let me tell you how to make your projects. This is totally up to you. There is absolutely no right or wrong way to do this as long as you're having fun. Now you're ready to start weaving and watch your project come to life. This is always my favorite part because you can see the work that you put in and warping your loom start to take form.
the end of this project. You can actually weave until you can't get your shuttle in and advance the band until it hits that top bar. But we're gonna go ahead and take this one off. The first step is to release tension on that tension bar. And then you can flip the loom around and we are ready to cut it off. Whatever you do at the ends of this project is entirely up to you. You can roll them and stitch them. You can tie them as Emma is doing here. You can come up with something else. It really doesn't matter as long as you're having fun. I leave them sometimes if I'm just making like a piece to have displayed. I don't even worry about them. The yarn we're using here is a 3-2 pearl cotton from Halcyon. Uh, we've also had a lot of luck with Omega Safarina, which is a nice cotton yarn. It's a little bit less expensive. Um, we've tried weaving with wool, it works okay, it's got a little bit more stretch to it, so we generally stick to cotton, but again, there is absolutely no right or wrong way to do this. If you've got some yarn that you just want to try out, don't hesitate. The ink loom is a very quick way to get your feet wet with weaving, and if you don't like it, you're not out that much yarn, you can just cut it off and start again. Happy weaving! <laughs>